Are you guys ready for your next comedian? Yes! Yeah. Alright, would the next comedian come to the stage? Please give a warm welcome to Sandy yeah. Beach. Yeah. Woo! I am a sexy bitch. Hello! Y'all know you want me. <laughs> Especially you. Oh my god. So you know, you look at me and you can tell a couple of things. Like obviously I got some big tits. <laughs> you know, like it's not that bad of a deal. It really isn't. But it's like, you know it's a problem when you're standing up and your boobs are still st sitting on your belly. You know, like I take off my bra and I can play hacky sack. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten to that point that I know that they're weapons. Because, like, I was joking around with my wife about a week ago and I smacked her in the head and I gave her a concussion. Still gotta tell her what my name is. I mean, I really got, I mean, I'm, I'm 42 and at that point I just want to be able to see my feet. I still don't know what type of shoes I'm wearing. But, you know, relationships are great. They really are. They're wonderful. I'm, I'm like, so proud to be married. I really am. Um, just because I don't have to deal with stalkers anymore. Well, actually I do because she's just on the other side of the bed. But, um, but no, relationships are awesome because you have that good point, you have the good, bad point, like sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. But no matter what, one of you usually winds up masturbating in the middle of the night. <laughs> but, uh, but like we've gotten to that point, like we really know each other really well. And like, you know, occasionally, you know, you have to argue in relationships, you have to argue, because it keeps everything fresh, but like, we're, we're at that point that, I swear, it's like, it's like death, it's death or die, because we get in an argument, and she's in the kitchen, she's sharpening knives, I'm on the computer researching how to choke her out with a tampon. <laughs> But like, but like, the greatest thing is like, I am such a guy. I am such a guy when it comes to when we fight. Like, I'll be pacing like three rooms away. And I'm like, hold on, Jack, bitch, I'm gonna fucking smack her. <laughs> she thinks she's tough. She thinks she knows how it is. She thinks she's gonna be the boss of me. Yeah. Give me your money. Let's go shopping. I wanna have pretty things in her bedroom. Hey, 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 yeah, all day long. That's all she wants. Does it? Fuck that shit. She's gonna start listening to me. It's my way or the highway. She can kiss my ass. She comes walking in. Baby, can I get you anything? I'm smart. I want to get laid again. I would suck shit through a straw to make sure I get some pussy later that night. But the greatest thing about um, being married is like, I'm suddenly at the age of 42, I'm a mom. I've never had kids because I've always been fearful of getting one to be just like me. I didn't know that was possible through adoption. <laughs> I mean, she's a great kid. I mean, it's kind of hard though, because like she's six foot tall and I'm only five feet tall. And I love tits. Tits are the greatest thing on the planet. And her daughter's got some banging ass boobs. And of course, because I'm so short, they're like right fucking here. I go up and talk to her, I'm like, I'm just gonna text you from the other room. Why don't you go see your boyfriend? <laughs> Love you. But like, the biggest thing, the, the hardest thing for me to get used to was, I'm trying to figure out that line of what constitutes abuse. <laughs> like, apparently, like when she's like going out of control, like it's okay if I lay my fat ass on her until she can't breathe. But taking a shit with the bathroom door open is just wrong. I don't get it. I really don't. But she's a really good kid, and I, I like I love torturing her boyfriend. Cause like most most fathers, most dads, they'll sit there and they'll be like wiping down their gun, loading the shotgun. You know, me no. I'm a little more creative. 
I've got a oh. construction grade staple gun <laughs> and a Bowie knife. <laughs> and I'll polish them and I sit there and I'm like, you know, I can cut a fly's wings off at 50 feet. <laughs> you get her pregnant, your penis is going to be stapled to that tree. <laughs> I leave little pictures of ripped up penises in his pocket. <laughs> Put them in his book bag. <laughs> Year later, they still haven't kissed. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of great, though. It's kind of great. And you know, like being a big person is kind of interesting because like uh, like people come and they say stupid things to me. Like I like people think that I don't know that I'm fat. Like I actually a couple weeks ago I walked out of a bar to smoke a cigarette and some dude walked up to me and he's like, "Damn, you fucking fat." <laughs> not to the, you know I'm not even heavy. I don't know what the fuck. Holy Jesus! What the? Oh my! What the fuck is that? I had a fucking heart attack. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, yeah, I know I'm fat. It's no big deal. I mean, I've lost like 60 pounds in the, in the past like eight months. <laughs> Don't get too excited. I'm just too fucking lazy to cook for myself. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's true. I gotta go downstairs. You know, that's like exercise. <laughs> But like, I actually, I have a back injury. I've got three herniated discs. So actually, exercise is really hard to do. So I had, was watching The Life of Bruce Lee, and then I noticed that he used like TENS units to like work his muscles. I'm like, oh, that's a fucking awesome idea. I've got one of those. I put leads all over my body, turn it up really high. And I was like, Ugh! I just couldn't reach the button to turn it off. <laughs> 20 minutes later, my wife comes in, sees me passed out, sweating in there. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm working out! I'm working out! <laughs> like a good wife, she just walked away. <laughs> you know, so then I decided to up the game. I decided, uh, decided to up the game. Like, a friend of mine has a taser gun. <laughs> So I was like, dude, you know, I, I can handle it. I'm tough. I'm a big bitch. I can handle it. Shoot me. <laughs> right here. Shoot me right here. <laughs> Dumbest fucking thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't even have balls, and I felt them go up into my chest. <laughs> my labia was flapping in the wind. <laughs> coming out of my nipples. I swear, I swear to God, I gave birth to fat cells. It was just like, ah! <laughs> I love just telling everybody about my life. So I've been car shopping for about a month. You know, and I'm really stuck between the, do I want to get another SUV, or do I want to go and get like an economy car? So one of my friends was like, you really should try the smart car. You really should go drive that. <laughs> okay. So I got in this thing and my tits got stuck in the steering wheel. It wasn't much of a test drive. I just kept going around in a circle. So I was like, I got out and I looked like a clown playing with King Kong's testicle. I mean, it was just like, weird. it was horrible. It really was. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> so I used to be a bus driver for a living. School bus driver. With kids. <laughs> Did that for about six years. Um, I, I mean, it was a good job. It was easy. It really was. 
Um, but it's kind of like one of those weird jobs. It's like it's kind of like wetting your pants while you're wearing a dark suit. You get a really warm feeling, but nobody notices. <laughs> Think about that one for a second. Um, but uh, I, I had gotten uh, I had gotten sick and I had had surgery and I was out of work for like three months. And I was back to work for three days when I realized I needed a fucking vacation. <laughs> because this little boy, he was about four years old, came up to me and he's like, Sandy, why are you so mean? I'm like, baby, it ain't me. It's not, I'm not mean. I'm really not. It's all about your safety. I really care about you. Now get the fuck off my bus! <laughs> Thank you very much. That's my time.